Good evening. This is the first time I ever had to get, make this announcement behind four music stands. So it's a new experience. Anyway, welcome to Sunday evenings at Clavier House. This is presented by Clavier House, purveyor of the finest pianos for both sale and restoration. And remember that. It's very important. Tonight, we have the pleasure of doing something different than piano, 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 piano. There will be some piano. However, uh, we have the Park Slope Woodwind Quintet, and key word in that sentence is wood. They were very specific that it's not the Park Slope Wind Quintet, it's the Park Slope Woodwind Quintet. But regardless, they're a great group, and they're joined by pianist Nelson Ojeda, and the program is going to be the Mozart Wind Quintet, Kershaw 452, uh, then Nelson will play the first book of Debussy Hommage, and then uh, the Poulenc Sextet Opus 100 will close the program. Without further ado, the Quintet and Nelson.
Okay, before you all leave, I'm going to bring the crowd out here again because I got <laughs> lots of questions for them. to pass the mic to them as I ask them. First thing I want to know is, I don't know your guys, most of your guys' names. So I know a couple of them, so. <laughs> Hi everybody, I'm Steven Palacio and I'm uh, obviously a bassoonist. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, you know, we want to be able to see you. <laughs> uh, hello, my name is Daniel Gurevich, I play the oboe. Hi everyone, my name is Ethan Usoskin. I play clarinet. Hi everyone, I'm Rachel Nirenberg. I play the horn. And, and I'm Zach Hicks, I play flute. And this is Nelson Ojeda, the pianist. So my first question for you guys, because I have plenty of questions for him, but that's a different <laughs> matter. Um, I don't know the woodwind repertoire like every single piece. So I want to know, first of all, how do you guys decide, without killing each other, uh, what repertoire to play? Are there standard pieces? I I'm talking about without piano. I'm talking about just for woodwind quintet. What are like the five best pieces for woodwind quintet? And, and do use the microphone, please. Okay, great. Maybe we could all just say one of our favorites. There you go. Right? That's a good way. Um, there are a lot of things that are fairly standard in the Woodwind Quintet repertoire, and you probably have never heard them. So please go on Spotify. Listen to a lot of Woodwind Quintet music, because it's beautiful music, especially when you have an ensemble that knows how to balance really well. Um, the horn, something that's really interesting <coughs> about our uh, setup is all of our timbres, the different colors that our instruments make. Oftentimes in the larger orchestra, composers will use them as kind of ways to flavor the orchestra or the piece. But in a wooden quintet, we all have to kind of manage those tendencies and timbre, and especially when we're paired off, we'll, we'll need to like uh, play kind of covered or more bright or whatever it is. So um, one of the pieces that I think does a really fantastic job, um, and this is a little bit off the beaten path, but I hope it starts becoming more in the canon, is a composer named uh, Jean Francais, and he has two wooden quintets. The second one is my favorite. Hmm. It is full of characters, colors, and he's actually a composer that um, wrote the piece, I think, in the 1980s. So it's, it is relatively modern, but it doesn't sound like that at all. It's very French and tonal and beautiful. So please check that out. Um, one of my personal favorite uh, wooden quintets would be uh, Barber's uh, Summer Music. Oh, um, yeah. It's just the most freshest breath of air. And of course, played by wind instruments. Uh, it just always gives me a sort of happy moment. <laughs> he almost plays a solo the entire time. Everybody else is working hard. <laughs> <laughs> that, that could contribute to my... <laughs> yeah. I can't really think of one like that is actually my favorite, but the first one that's coming to mind right now is the Ligeti Six, Six Bagatelles, which is a great piece. It has um, like all of these different Hungarian folk songs as the motifs for different movements, and uh, the way he uses the instrumentation is really interesting because there's so many moments where like one instrument is playing, like the, the, there's like moments where the oboe and the flute have the same melody in, in octaves, but the oboe's the one at like the, the top end of its register and the flute's like kind of low down. So it's like a very unique sound in the way he plays with um, all the different timbres and colors he has available throughout the whole uh, woodwind quintet, I think is really interesting. Um, well, my personal favorite piece of wind music isn't actually for quintet, it's the Mozart that we played, which has piano, so it's not quintet, but I had to say it because it really is one of my favorite pieces of music ever. Um, in terms of wind quintet music, again, I don't think I could narrow it down to a favorite, but um, the partita for wind quintet by Irving Fine is 
very lovely and just full of um, expression and character. And that's definitely one that I love a lot. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard to there yeah, it's hard to narrow it down to a favorite and all of these so far are really fantastic pieces that everyone listed. We've we played Irving Fine actually uh two summers ago. We we did the Irving Fine Partita, really lovely piece. Um I'm gonna go with one that I, I just can't get enough of. I really like it. It's really fun. Um Jacques Ibert's three pieces for Woodman Quintet just not everyone's favorite, but I, I think it's adorable. It's, it's v very French, um, uh, uh, sort of capricious in, in its character, and it's really sentimental sometimes. And then it's, it's kind of frenetic, and um, Jacques Ibert was, was like a composer, mo uh, mostly of film, um, and so I think that really influences style, and I, I just think it's a lot of fun to play. It's definitely up there in my, in my top five. What an interesting group of pieces you guys <laughs> came up with. I'm especially interested in Irving Fine because I think he's a fantastic composer. Died way too yeah, young. Too. I think he was only 47 when he died. Mm -hmm. And uh, he wrote a great symphony. Mm -hmm. um, and was a, I think he was a Harvard professor or something like that. But the rest of this stuff is all uh, Francais. Wonderful, wonderful composer. Really not well enough known. And the Leggetti, of course, nothing about that surprises me because everything he writes is hard. <laughs> <laughs> so that's very interesting. Nelson, what's your favorite woodwind quintet? Hintemith. <laughs> and I'm not in it because obviously it's just woodwind quintet. But yes, I love that piece. What about with piano? Or woodwind quintet with or piano? Or a piece for piano and winds. Let's not <coughs> limit it to five instruments. My favorite was always this Poulenc, which is why really? I, yeah, which is why I wanted to do this project. And then um, I was introduced to the Mozart, and wow, <laughs> now I have another favorite. Well, that, yeah, but that's that's about the most standard woodwind piece in the literature with mm -hmm. piano, wouldn't you say? I guess. Yeah. <laughs> but once you play it, then you, yeah, then there's the, just the joy of the piece. Okay, so here's a provocative question. What composer do you wish had written a woodwind quintet who didn't? Or you can all answer that if you want to, or if you don't. I, just, I, I think about this all the time when thinking of programming. I wish Brahms had written a woodwind quintet. I feel like that would be amazing. You know, it's clarinet sonatas. For, for clarinet and piano, they're also played on viola as well, viola and piano. Those are, that's, that's really incredible. Um, yeah, I wish Brahms had, had done it. Well, I mean, you know, he came fairly close with his serenades, I think. The wind writing in the serenades is phenomenal. Yeah, but th there's no flute, right? That, that, that's... <laughs> Come on. Sadly true. He makes up for it in the symphony, so... Yeah, yeah, don't yeah. Don't complain he, that's too right. much. He gave us a, a, a few good solos. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Mm -hmm. no, I appreciate Brahms. Good guy. But a woodwind quintet would be amazing. Uh, you, you feel free if anything comes to your mind, but do pass the mic around while you do that. Yeah, okay. I was thinking, like, because I hope I don't say a mistake and say a composer who actually did write a wind quintet. Um, but one composer that comes to mind is um, Olivier Messiaen, who has such beautiful, colorful wind writing, like, and he's very into birds, and wind instruments are great at portraying birds. Um, and all of his pieces have amazing wind writing and really, really beautiful, and I also love... Um, I love Messiaen as a composer, so if only he had written a wind quintet. Yeah. Oh, that's very interesting. <laughs> so Mozart actually didn't write a wind quintet. He wrote all of these wind serenades and this quintet for four winds and piano, but he never actually wrote a wind quintet that included flute and for all five of us. Um, well, there's a rumor going around he didn't really like the flute. That is, that is what they say. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Strange how well he wrote for it, in spite of the fact he didn't like yeah, it. Yeah, and he actually mm -hmm. wrote one more concerto for flute than he wrote for clarinet, and for bassoon too, right? And oboe. Right? There's only one for, for only all three one, of us. Yeah, yeah, only one for each. But he did That's write. True he did write four for horns, so horn wins in that yeah. battle. <laughs> yeah. So he definitely. I don't know. He couldn't have hated you that much. So. Uh, I don't take it personally. <laughs> what did he know anyway? I would say Tchaikovsky. Um, 
I, uh, we have that amazing solo in the fourth symphony. Oh, but the it's rest my favorite the melody s- in music. Yeah, heartbreaking and yeah. wonderful. Uh, but the rest of the symphonies are sort of not that juicy for us, and we really like to be juicy. And I choose to believe that if he, r- if he wrote a quintet, it would be uh, incredible for all the instruments, but especially the oboe. So I'm going to say a composer that's actually living. Woo! Um, Angelica Negron. If she is watching this live stream, girl, I'm coming for you. Write a wooden quintet for us, please. She's a fantastic composer. If you're not familiar with her work, um, one of the pieces that she most recently uh, was commissioned was uh, for uh, Third Coast Percussion, I'm pretty sure. They did a program as part of their uh, new music series out at the Domena Center. And her piece was so interesting because there was a lot of aspects of it um, as a Latina composer that there were just aspects of her piece that she would use, like um, the kind of like um, cooking, it, like a cooking pot to, u- to, to utilize it to strike. The percussionists were striking it, and, and that was like something that was really reminiscent for me because that was the same cooking pot that I grew up with. So I would love to see what she does with wind writing because up until this point, I think she's mostly dabbled in uh, strings and, uh, and things obviously that she's been commissioned for, but I just find her music so uh, evocative of um, her experience in New York City and so uh, interconnected with the Latino community specifically, so I'd love to see her uh, write a piece wooden quintet and see what she does for wins. That's a very interesting answer. What about you? What piece do you want to see for woodwind quintet? Well, I was going to say there's so much piano repertoire I have no, <coughs> no <laughs> desires left. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all you have to do is spend the rest of your life learning it all. Exactly. Well, I need multiple lives I've decided to, yeah, <laughs> to be able to get through it. Yes, one wonders why composers didn't do more of that and less of writing for the 88s. I mean, I'd love more um, piano with woodwind quintet so that I can do more repertoire with these people. So. You know, actually, I wonder if it doesn't have something to do with the fact that writing for uh, winds has the complication of the transpositions for horn and clarinet, which some composers actually find difficult. Why? I don't know. <laughs> they do. <laughs> well, you know, Copeland... Um, solve the whole problem by writing everything in C and letting other people transpose it. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. All of, all of his scores are all written in C. Clarinet parts in C, horn parts in C, and then you just have to transpose it down. I mean, that's what I would think would be one answer. <laughs> but I think also the balancing, as you mentioned, the balancing for this ensemble, I mean, balancing is hard enough in an orchestra, but when you have five naked instruments, I would think it might be even harder. But you guys did a great job. Thank you. I.E. I.E. Nobody overwhelmed anybody else. <laughs> Have you guys commissioned anybody? Anyone want to step up? <laughs> Any composers in the audience feel like writing for Woodwind? Well, you're the logical choice to write something for the uh, group. Uh, it's possible I may write something, but I'm, I'm not. Uh, yeah, we will see about that. I was going to pass the baton actually to Ethan, who's arranged several things for us, which um, has been a lot of fun. Yeah, speaking of, there are composers who didn't write for wood, woodwind quintet, but they wrote for other instrumentation, and so um, we can play arrangements as well, which is always a good time. Do, Yeah, so um, I don't. I just enjoy arranging. Honestly, just like as a hobby, like it's a way to um, do something creative and in the world of music without actually playing your instrument. And I'm, I tried composing when I was younger, and I realized I didn't really like it, and I wasn't that good at it. And this was a way to like kind of use I don't know, like um, music theory and playing around with different instru- um, like different. Um, or orchestration techniques and everything that I like learned in school that I still get to be able to use now. Um, so it's just fun to like like have different problems presented because when you're adapting something like for string quartet, um, the ranges on each of those instruments are really different than what our instruments can do and dynamics also like the they can play a lot softer and they're higher registers than our instruments can necessarily and 
there's just so much diff the flexibility is so different from what they can do versus what we can do. So finding like what plays to each instrument's strengths and what plays to their weaknesses and working around all of that is it's a fun thing to try to tackle. Mm -hmm. so. Oh yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna brag about Ethan for a minute. He's arranged for us Borodin's, is it second string quartet? Was that the one, second string quartet, if you're familiar with, with, with Borodin? Um, another really fun composer, just beautiful melodies, um, really great stuff. So yeah, Ethan arranged that, that uh, string quartet, second string quartet for our ensemble, which was a lot of fun to play. And then we've also, yeah. Also a composer that didn't write a wind quintet. So now, yes. Borodin, that's true. Exactly, yeah, 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 Borodin. Would have been nice if he'd written a woodwind quintet. Um, he, he wrote. He wrote the second movement of that, of, of that string quartet is the Stranger in Paradise. Uh, yeah. Movement, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that one. Yeah, it was yeah. stolen for a pop song. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the first time that happened either. Well, guys, it was great to have you and the group. I would have you guys. This has nothing to do with you, by the way. <laughs> you can come and play solo recital anytime. But I'd love to have you guys just do wind quintets here sometime. Thank you. That would be great. That would be awesome, yeah. Yeah, thank you. And next week on Sunday evenings at Clavier House, we will go back to solo piano with pianist Han Chen, who is going to do a very interesting program that he hasn't finalized yet. So your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> anyway, have a good evening, and thank you for coming. <laughs>